Well, I was going to invite you to the spring training opener with the Diamondbacks and the Colorado Rockies uh, to go with me, see some behind the scenes and, and talk with you know, some Salt River community members and some of the baseball players and some of that. But obviously uh, the game didn't happen today. Little little rain. It's been raining since before I got up this morning and it continues to rain. The game was scheduled for here in about 30 minutes. I think we may be the only ones in the stadium today. I was even early for once and nobody else is really here. I jumped the fence in the outfield just off the 101 and came in and there's no game going on. So I think they call it a rain out or water out or something, but here we are. No, just kidding. I, I was coming to a game and I want to bring you, it's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, it won't be the Colorado Rockies versus the Diamondbacks. It's going to be the D-backs versus the Oakland A's. We have some access to go and see some of the places that we might not have been able to see if, if the game was going on today. So I want to take you and go through and see some of the, the locker rooms and see some of the other behind the scenes stuff that that a lot of us baseball fans never see. And come with me and we'll go go have a look. So we're in the visitor's clubhouse. It's much smaller than I thought it would be. I always imagine just a big, huge room. And maybe if it's your home locker room, it'd be a lot bigger, but this is really, um, it's a good size, but it's not as big as it in my made up mind. So it's fun. I, I love that in life when you can walk in and see something, how it really is, and then compare it to how you have it in your mind or not. So this is the men's. I'm not sure where if there, maybe there is a women's down here, but here's the, the men's. This was a surprise seeing all of the different cans and items and toothpaste and brush and Q-tips and all sorts of things I would have never imagined that are they're in the locker room. So pretty cool, pretty amazing. I've never seen a gum selection before like this. I haven't even heard of probably about a third. Watermelon twist. Rice. So I was just told that the players will come out come out of the room, you know, the locker room, and there's this kind of thick, it's about an inch-ish carpet, foam, of course cleats on cement, and probably pretty slick or whatever, less noise as well. And so walking along here, and then as we're walking around there, we're walking around, and they're gonna walk right out here, getting more green carpet right out to the stadium to, to go play.
this is a great view from up here. You can see, you know, pretty much have a 360 degree view around around the valley. Right back in here, you can't really see it, but it's uh, where the USS Arizona Memorial is at here in Arizona. The Salt River community brought in a section of, of the, the actual USS Arizona from Pearl Harbor and they brought in a piece of the, I think it was a boathouse, and brought it and put it in here. And there's a great place you can go and walk through with your family and, and look at the, the memorial that, that's there. And it's definitely, if you come here for spring training, that's definitely a stop that you wanna take and, and go out there and visit it. It just opened up. Um, yesterday was a big event that was able to go and participate in and today was the official day that it's open to the public. Look at all these good seats that are just empty today because there's no game because of the rain. I wish we had these seats tomorrow. This would be a great, great spot right here at home plate. I, in fact, I don't even have a seat tomorrow. I'm gonna be walking around so we'll be able to see different viewpoints from all over the field at least. I hear there's some really good fry bread that's that's made here that we'll, we'll taste and I'll let you know. Let's go from there. I've heard there's some pretty mad fans coming in, uh, you know, flying into Arizona somewhere farther where there's it's really cold and lots of snow and then they get here expecting sunshine and rain and beautiful weather which happens a lot of times during this this time of year but they come here on a day where it, we're getting some beautiful rain we're enjoying the rain while it happens um, we're not cursing it or do anything like that but but water being sacred something that here in the desert we need love the water and the rain so bring, bring on the rain today and then and then if it, hopefully tomorrow we can get some baseball in as well. Maybe some rain after the games tomorrow would be nice, but we'll take all the rain we can get. We have an opportunity to come back and have you meet some of the great people that make this field happen on the baseball side, on the Salt River, Pima, Maricopa Indian community side of things as well. Um, this is a great stadium. It's on it's on reservation land. It's baseball like I, I'm living the dream even just sitting here in the field just looking around right here behind home plate. I, I wanted to be a catcher growing up. If I was going to play professional baseball, I was going to have my baseball card say Holt Hamilton number 34, um, you know, 20 feet from here. And so I this may be the closest I ever got to accomplishing that dream 20 feet away from it. I can see it right through here. I'll come back tomorrow, I'll bring you along, and we'll go and, and meet some, some of the great people that have helped bring the stadium, bring you know great facility like this to, to Arizona. It's right here on the Salt River, Salt River Nation, so exciting. I'm not gonna let a little rain you know, ruin my parade.